Hello and welcome to another FusionExtreme.com Photoshop tutorial. Today we're going to talk about the basics of face retouching. We're just going to go really, really basic on this so you can get a, uh, a very simple idea on what, what you can do. The, the areas that you need to pay attention to on someone's face when it comes to retouching. We're not going to get very in-depth here. Now if you look here you can see a little skin coloration right here a couple of blemishes down here maybe a little bit on her forehead and you see the little bit of darkness right here also look right underneath her her lips here you see this shadow these are things to watch for in darkness in the corners of the mouth these are things that you want to watch for when you're look when you start to retouch an image now the way I'm going to go about doing this I really love this tool right here if you go to um, uh, the patch tool it's underneath the healing brush if you go to the patch tool. Now what I'm going to do here, I'm going to grab this area of skin coloration. I'm going to grab it and just simply slide it up to a clean area of the cheek and let it go. Now the way that that works only is if you have the source uh, source selected, not destination or transparent. But if you do that, um, what you've done, what I've done is go ahead and correct that little area there of skin coloration just that simply. Now that's another good way. A lot of people like to use the cloning tool. The problem with the cloning tool is you're only really copying color. You're not really copying texture. And you end up with, with areas that look as though they're out of focus if you use the cloning tool too much. These little blemishes here, I'm going to do the same thing with the patch tool. I'm going to slide right over to an area of clean skin, let go, and look at what we have. The blemishes are gone it's cleaned it up really really nicely those are areas that you need to watch for you can do the same thing on the forehead you find little blemishes clean them up uh, just that quickly now one of the other things that, that like I said we want to watch darkness in the corners of the mouth and shadows underneath here now here is where I will go ahead and use the clone stamp that's this this stamp right here I'll use the clone stamp now I want to make sure that I'm down at about 25 or 30 percent on the clone stamp and the size of brush that I'm going to use is going to be much smaller than where I'm at here um, I'm gonna go ahead and pull it down let's see here a little smaller than that probably around 35 or 40 37 yeah it looks good maybe a little smaller we'll go to about 31 um, and now I can now I will come down here and you select alt whoops pick alt in an area of clean skin here and then you click your mouse and then right back up on top of that you will click right on top of that shadow that's going underneath her and you click several times and you remove the shadow from under her chin little by little you're gonna go ahead and do that you're gonna reselect as you get over here as you see this skin tone is different you don't want to be copying the lighter skin tones up over here skin tone is different so I'm gonna go ahead and very lightly clean that up right there and you get rid of the shadow basically that's underneath there now we do have some other little skin things we've got this right here you can use the the cloning tool I like I said I prefer the, the patch tool but that's <laughs> that's an opinion kind of thing. Now that now right here um, where you have the dark area under the eye you don't want to completely remove that. Sometimes you see pictures where people have completely removed it and it just looks very very fake. It doesn't look realistic. So what I'm gonna do here I'm gonna show you a couple of ways to do it. The way some people like to do it and this is not the method that I use but some people like to use the dodge tool the dodge tool and what they'll do is they'll come underneath here. Oops. I selected the midtones. I meant to select, sh select shadows in a very low exposure. Um, what people like to do sometimes is come through and do it this way. I don't think that's going to look as good. Um, what I like to do is clone again, like I said, but I'll even go with a lighter opacity here at about 15%. I'll come underneath here, alt click, or um, I believe that's on a on a 
It's not command on a Mac. It is I forgot what alt is on a Mac. But you uh, you can come over this here and lightly correct the problem. Again though, you tend to get somewhat of a fake look if you overdo it. Another great way to do it, um, and I prefer to do this, is to duplicate this layer here. You can hit Control J or um, I believe that's Command J on a Mac. Um, and then you come back over and I will use the patch tool again. Now this is going to over exaggerate the correction and you'll see what I'm talking about here. I'm going to over fix the problem with this. Drag it down here. What I've done has slightly over fixed the problem. It doesn't look as realistic. Um, again that's uh, if you come to opacity here you bring it back and that allows the, the layer below to seep through a little bit and it becomes a little more realistic where you see a little of the shape of the eye underneath. Those are the ways that I prefer to work on an image. The very, very basics of things to look for on a face. Also, by the way, get rid of things like right here. You've got where her ear is pierced. Very simple, again, with the patch tool. The patch tool is a really handy tool. Get very comfortable with the patch tool. Um, if you get that, that's wonderful. You can lighten up the corners at the tips of the mouth here. You do that with um, with dodge. That's right here again. Dodge, dodge and burn. You're going to choose the dodge tool. Very, very light exposure. Just lighten up those the corners of the mouth there. Lighten up the shadows and that looks much, much better. Um, those are the basics of retouching a face. Check under the eye. The corners here right underneath the lips. I see that missed a lot. I see the corner of the lips here and the, the corners of the mouth. Underneath the lips and the corner of the mouth I see um, a lot of issues. Now there are a lot of other things we could do here um, but you're getting the general idea of these are the things that I suggest that you look for when you're retouching someone's face. Thanks for listening to this Photoshop tutorial brought to you by FusionExtreme.com